Good morning, everyone. My name is Cherie, and today I'm going to give you my impressions of The Irishman. The Irishman is a Netflix movie that has received a uh, Academy Award nomination for Best Picture. The Irishman is long. It's really long. It's three and a half hours. But it doesn't feel long. I mean, it's it flows. The pacing is so good. And, you know, it's a lot of story to tell. And it's engrossing. So, you know, I felt like the three and a half hour runtime worked just fine. Um, I know in the old days when movies were, uh, you know, three hours or whatever, they had intermissions. I believe The Sound of Music had an intermission. Um, and I don't know if when they showed The Irishman in theaters if they had an intermission. Um, there were a few spots where they could have done so. But it is, it's a long slog. I did have to pause it briefly uh, for my own intermission and then come back to it right away though, because it was really good. So the story itself is, it's not about Jimmy Hoffa, but it's about uh, a close friend of Jimmy Hoffa's and uh, a friend who is instrumental in Jimmy Hoffa's disappearance as well. Um, and all the acting is great. You've got all the greats. Robert De Niro. Nailed it! Al Pacino. Nailed it! Joe Pesci. Nailed it! Even Harvey Keitel briefly. Nailed it! You know, it's just like a powerhouse of acting. And uh, the, the script's really good. Martin Scorsese. This might be uh, my favorite Scorsese film. I know a lot of people are saying it's not as good as Casino or Goodfellas, but I really enjoyed this one. I think more than those other two films when I saw them. Cinematography was wonderful. I already said the editing was wonderful. Um, art direction, everything. Everything was top notch about this film. And, um, ah, man, it, if it weren't for the whole, you know, Netflix kind of bias, I, I would think that this would be the best picture. There was only one spot that stood out to me where I was like, ooh, you know, that didn't, that's not working. And it's when they were in a bowling alley. And there's music playing in the background, and there are people, you know, the, the background actors doing their pantomimes and stuff and talking. And uh, the two main characters are having a conversation. But there are no sounds of like rolling balls or, or balls striking pins. It's a very crowded bowling alley. And for the amount of time that that conversation goes on, <laughs> there would not be a lull in, you know, people rolling the balls and striking pins. Um, and just that absence in the sound design was really weird to me. That's the only thing that I found like wrong with the Irishman. So anyway, yeah, I'd say definitely see it. Um, just know you're in for a long movie, but a very well made, entertaining, long movie that doesn't feel that long. Nailed it! <laughs> All right, that's it. I will see you in the next video. Bye.